To talk about the concept and significance of the artwork, um, I have to go back a little bit. I've been making a geometric abstract painting since about 1982, 83. They're non-objective paintings in that they're not representing anything, they're actually objects in themselves. So they're not representing something else, they're things in themselves. In 1988, I started an experiment where I decided to restrict everything I did to just one shape, uh, the diamond shape and diagonal lines as a kind of experiment to see what would happen. So the work that's here in the exhibition is a video of the process of me setting up a landscape exhibition at this particular place in Footscray, which is a really old escarpment, basalt escarpment, and arranging seven different paintings, different coloured paintings on that escarpment. And um, the paintings themselves are in the exhibition. When I heard the exhibition was going to be called Hidden Footscray and it was about kind of places that might be hidden in Footscray, I thought back to this 1999 exhibition I made at the escarpment because um, the story of Bluestone is really fundamental to Footscray and, and Melbourne and Australia and, and it's, it's something that isn't necessarily very well known. Bluestone is um, basically solidified lava, it's cooled down lava and um, the Victorian volcanic plains start at the Maribyrnong River and go well into South Australia and there's more than 400 volcanoes between here and South Australia. The lava flow from, from those volcanoes stops right there at that escarpment. That's the place it stopped. And then the water flowed off the, the escarpment face, the cliff face, and formed the Maribyrnong River Valley and the river. Basically, the volcanic plains um, is really one of the reasons that Melbourne was first settled and established because of the volcanic soil produces a particular type of um, vegetation. Uh, a grassland that, that um, uh, Europeans, when they arrived here, thought was great for grazing sheep. So in terms of the whole reason for kind of uh, Melbourne being where it was, uh, is, really, is really kind of uh, that story is embedded within the story of the bluestone. And, you know, even here we can see around us, you know, everything <laughs> in Melbourne's made of bluestone. I think that that story is very important for people to understand uh, in terms of place and here in Melbourne. The, you know, the process of, of working as an artist is often hidden as well and I think um, I decided to make an artwork where you could see the process of um, making work.